Hey, welcome to VCVCBC. My name is Ben. I'm the developer. We're going to walk through how to write a full song with VCVCBC. I'm going to be using the simulator so I can kind of point out things using the mouse. So up here in the top left, we have our new idea button. Now, a song can start from one of four different elements. And this is a very key point to VCVCBC that no other app has. You can start from lyrics, which most people do. They'll start from you know a poem or just a few lines and go from there. You can start from a melody, like if you're writing a film score and you've got this great theme in your head that you want to just record really quick. Uh, you can start from a chord progression. If you're a guitarist, you might you know put a few chords together and you're like, oh, that would sound really cool. Let's let's start from that. Or maybe you just you know hit a beat out on a table or a steering wheel, or the back of a chair, and you're like, oh, that'd be make a great song. You can start from any one of these ideas in VCVCBC. Um, you can also, if you're having trouble getting started, you can get inspired. And this generates a random quote or saying. Let's see. There's much Obi-Wan did not tell you. Yeah, that's a good quote there. So maybe that'll inspire you to write a song where you can keep hitting the button to uh, get a new one. Today we're going to start with a lyric idea. That's probably the most common way to start a song. Now, all the best songs start on a napkin, whether you're in a diner or wherever. Typically, you'll pull out a napkin and write down a few lines or a quick sketch of a melody or something. So instead of having to go out and get that napkin, we've brought the napkins to you on the iPad with VCVCBC. Uh, so let's go ahead and start putting in some words. <clears throat> let's see. I can write a verse. And once we go to the next line, you can see over here we've got a rhyming dictionary. And it'll ask, it'll say, hey, search verse. That's the last line, or the last word of the previous line. So if we put that in, then it'll bring up all the rhymes for verse. Uh, let's see, use the first one. I can write a verse. Let's see, can't be any worse. I don't have to type it. I can just tap on the word, and it'll throw it in there for me. Now, it'll automatically switch to that last word of the previous line, but you can highlight any word you want. In this case, let's actually highlight any, and then search for that. Any, many, penny, and tenny, half penny. So yeah, you can rhyme any word you want just by highlighting it. Let's see, I can write a verse, can't be any worse than the time I tried before. There we go, now we've got something here. Up here, we've got the title of our idea, and lots of songs are called Untitled, so let's let's change that to Worst Verse Ever. Ever. All right. So we've got that set. Now, we could just keep throwing in ideas as much as we want to, and that's a really good way to organize all those random things that just hit you, but the power of VCVCBC is being able to turn these into full songs, full chord charts for you to save and share with people. So over here, we've got our song hanging out, and we don't have a song going yet. So if I tap on this song icon, it'll say, hey, you want to start a new song? That's what I want to do. So now we have our chord chart view, <clears throat> and it's moved us automatically over into chord mode. Over here, we've got uh, frets that'll allow us to play our guitar here, kind of Guitar Hero style. So if I strum across those strings, then it'll play that chord. This is a nice, easy way. If you hold the iPad up and put your fingers on these buttons here, it's really easy to play that way and just kind of get some ideas going. Um, let's see. I can write a verse. Let's go ahead and record a melody before we get into chords here. I can write a verse. So to do that, we're going to go over into our margin here, and we've got a melody and a rhythm icon for every line. And that They're dimmed out right now, which means we don't have any melody or rhythm ideas in the song yet. So let's go ahead and record a melody idea by tapping on one of these. And now we're in melody mode. Down here, we've got a bunch of piano keys, but it doesn't look like a piano because... This way, you don't need to know your scales and your keys. You don't have to be like, oh, I don't know how to finger that chord or that scale or whatever. All you need to do is slide until you find that pitch in your head. I, na, 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 da. I can write a verse. 
I can write a verse. So that's that's our starting pitch. That's the key that we're in. So I don't need to pick manually. I can just say, hey, what was that last note that I played? And it says, oh, it was G. So I just tap that button. Now we're in G because that's what I happen to be singing in my head. And instead of just showing me some octaves, I'd rather it show me something more useful like a major scale. And you'll notice it just highlights the major scale in blue. It doesn't take away the other keys because you never know. Sometimes you want to do those little chromatic steps and get the little, you know, extra tones in there. You know, other apps, you know, it's cool that'll let you pick a scale, but it'll hide those other notes thinking, oh, you don't want those. But, you know, maybe you do. So this way, you still have the flexibility of using whatever notes you want without taking away uh, some of that flexibility. Da, da, da. Let's see. So we're going to start here. This is much harder to do with a mouse than it is with your fingers, which is the power of the iPad. I can write a verse, but we're just going to record that real quick. So up here, we've got our plain record mode. We're going to flip to record mode. I'm not going to use the metronome yet. We'll get to that with rhythm. But if I hit this, it's going to start recording. And I'll just do. All right. And now it's got a little piano roll style. Uh, visualization of what we just played in there and we can switch back to playback mode play it back and let me say VCBCBC is not a production tool it's this is not a fully featured sequencer this is a very flexible musical notebook that allows you to just get those sketches in there because now if we go back to our song well, you'll see we've got this dark melody icon. If I tap on that, it'll start playing right here. So that way, after I've written these words and chords down, and I'm like, oh, how did I start that verse? Instead of having to notate that all out or record it somewhere, you've just got, oh, I've got this little melodic sketch that just took me a second to throw in there that, oh, now it's all back in my head. I remember how that was supposed to go. That is the point of these musical sketches here. So now that we know we are in the key of G, which is convenient here, um, we can pick some chords. I can write a verse. Let's do that. That's, that's nice. I can write a verse. And you see how easy it is. We can just drag those chords wherever we want them. If it was like, oh, I really wanted it a little further over there, then just move it. You don't have to keep tapping the space bar. Like, you know, if you've ever made a chord chart, that's what you've had to do is just uh, keep jamming on the space bar until it's almost where you want it. Uh, I'll do can't be any worse. And the time, time, time. Yep, I haven't worked that one out yet. Time, I tried. I'll bring it back to G. Nice, clean progression there. Nice and simple. All right, now we've got our chords in order. Now, you can play it live by just pressing these fretboards over here. Or now that we've got them in our song, we can tap on one of these chords to make it active. See how it changed to blue there? And now down here, you'll see our big pick is the current chord. And it shows us our next chord here and our previous chord here. So now you can just lay your iPad on the table and strum with one hand and tap on the picks with the other to progress through the song. It's a little hard to do with a mouse, but. I can write a verse. It can't be any worse. Then the time I tried before. And now you see we're starting to get a song together. And we didn't have to grab a piano. We didn't have to grab our guitar. It's all right here to just make your song wherever you are on your iPad. Now, we've kind of stuck to G, fortunately. But we can switch to any key we want to over here. Uh, we can pick different chord sets. This is our pop chord set. If we tap on this button... 
you'll see we've got all of our chord sets here. Uh, pop, you know, is by far the most common set of chords in commercial music. You could probably recreate a good 80-90% of the songs on the radio just by sticking with these. Um, but we've got, you know, pop rock, ragtime, rock, rock ballad, all kinds. There's over 20 different chord progressions that are included with VCVCBC. We can switch to another key, whatever. But even if those sets don't work for you, just tap on a chord and you can flip it to whatever you want. We got some pretty crazy chord combinations in here. So, and then you adjust your chord and then you can adjust your bass note if you wanted something really funky. Preview it. Oh, that's a nice chord. All right. <clears throat> so, and you can go in and do that with every single one if you wanted to. So it's, again, super flexible to pick whatever chords you want. You're not stuck to, oh, do this chord progression. You can do whatever you want. Those are just to help you get started. All right, so we've done melody. Let's do a little rhythm, too. So now we're in our rhythm mode. <clears throat> and now we've got common surfaces. We've got a tabletop. We have a steering wheel. The back of a chair. Got a kick and snare. Or just all snare all the time. Let's do the steering wheel. That's my favorite. <clears throat> so... I can ride on a again that's much easier to do with your fingers and you don't have to do it on this small version you can hit this play button here and it'll bring it up full screen so let's go ahead and let's set our metronome we're going to turn it on and we'll tap out a tempo boom all right we're going to flip to record mode. We've got a nice little beat going there. And that will give us kind of a hint of, oh, that's the beat I was thinking of. So let's close out of our full screen mode here. Play it back. I'm a little rough. I'm playing with the mouse. So uh, let's flip back into our song. And there we have it. We've got a melody and a rhythm that reminds us that's how our verse goes. So from there, you can keep adding sections. We could go into change this into our chorus. And there's a lot of other options in our song mode that we'll get into into other videos. But that is the basic idea of how to take your ideas into a song. And like I said, you can start from any of those and go into your chord chart, your song mode. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, when you're done with your song, you can email it as a PDF. And that way you can share it with your band or take it into the studio. And you've got your roadmap for what you want your song to sound like. And you can always refer back to your sketches when you're like, oh, how did I want that melody? Because the common problem, there's some great production software out there. There's some great sequencing and notation software out there. But a lot of times, I know in my own experience, I'll get so caught up in, oh, that sounds so good. Or, oh, how do I, you know, how am I quantizing in this application? You know, how do I do these special features? And I'll get so caught up in using the software or the production quality of it that I'll forget, oh, what was the actual soul of the song? What was this supposed to sound like? And that was what our intention was with VCVCBC, to keep the soul of the song and to let you be able to focus on writing the words and the chords and the, you know, the soul of the song itself before you take it into the studio and make it sound good. So I really hope that we've accomplished that. I think we have. You can uh, follow us at Okie Doke Studios. Visit our website at okiedoke.com. That's O-K-E-E-D-O-K-E. -E -E. And you can get more information there. You can send us an email if you've got ideas. Or if you've got a song that you wrote, we'd love to hear it. So I hope you enjoyed this video.